hi, good morning. My name is Sean Lobry. I live in uh, coastal Mississippi in the Ocean Springs area, and I am a volunteer for the oyster gardening program, uh, growing restoration oysters to be returned to the Mississippi Sound and new oyster beds. Well, I happen to be in a, uh, a training class uh, to uh, uh, earn a uh, Coast Guard captain's license. I'm retired Navy and, and I was a, uh, a Navy ship captain back in the day. And uh, there were several Department of Marine Resources uh, folks in the class also. And I just heard through word of mouth about uh, this program and it sounded really interesting to me. And you know, I asked a lot of questions about it and, and here I am. I think a big one is uh, just awareness of uh, you know what's going on with uh, the oyster fishery in, in the Gulf and uh, uh, in this area it, it, it's tremendously diminished from what it has been you know many years ago and uh, that that's caused by a, a lot of different uh, problems uh, uh, overfishing pollution uh, mismanagement of dredging spoils you know those are a few that I'm that I'm aware of that that uh, really hurt the uh, the fishery and uh, I believe that it's, uh, from what I've read and what I've seen, slowly coming back and slowly improving. And uh, one of the really cool uh, uh, characteristics of an oyster is that they're constantly filtering and, and improving water quality in their own small way. So uh, they're, they're just a really beneficial uh, animal and they, they uh, support uh, life and, and you know, shelter and food for so many other uh, small animals like crabs and shrimp and fish and that, that sort of thing. Well, the, uh, the guidance that y'all give uh, the gardeners is to, to do the maintenance to check on the oysters every, I believe it's seven, seven to ten days. And uh, based on my schedule and routine, it, it, it worked out for me to do it uh, once a week. I usually do it on Saturdays. And uh, I spend uh, early in the season, maybe five to 10 minutes uh, a week. And then later in the season, maybe up to 45 minutes or, or an hour. So uh, I would say on average, probably half an hour a, a week. So it's really a minimal uh, time uh, in investment uh, for me. And uh, the, the work uh, involves uh, maintenance, uh, basically you know, visual inspection, uh, everything that you all trained us uh, to do, looking for predators, uh, giving the oysters a rinse to help keep you know mud and, and, and sediment off of them just to, to help help them be healthy and to keep growing. And then I also uh, take measurements uh, to put into your database so that you all can track uh, growth during the season. Well, I just want to say uh, I've really enjoyed uh, you know this effort. Uh, I love to volunteer. I love to give back to my community, and uh, uh, for those that uh, have access to salt water, it's just a really neat uh, uh, undertaking, and it takes very, very little time. I find it to be really, really rewarding. Uh, in the past few seasons, I've raised about 3,000 oysters per season, and uh, knowing that I, you know, those oysters are going back onto new reefs that are, you know, helping the sound and helping, you know, restart. Uh, these these uh, oyster oyster reefs and oyster habitat is you know it's just really rewarding to me. Uh, during uh, the health crisis, uh, it, it's also a wonderful activity that you can still do and be be safe. Uh, so uh, I've just found it to be really really rewarding. It's also been fun to get other friends and neighbors involved with it, and and uh, so I I believe uh, it's a tremendously valuable rewarding program, uh, and that there's a lot of potential for it to grow further. I, I think there are just a, a lot of folks out there. Uh, we're still uh, educating uh, the public about what it's all about. And I, I think there's a lot of room for growth uh, if, if there's, uh, you know, interest or capacity for that in the yeah. future.